The important solution is that as there is a law in a city, how to manage and build in an urban land, similarly there needs to be a, a law which is incentive-based for the farmers that if you own a land, if you own agricultural land, minimum organic content should be there. Three percent is considered the minimum organic content. If that is not there, microbial life will not survive. If microbial life does not survive, life on this planet will not survive. So we need laws, but you cannot make punitive laws. They have to be incentive-based laws. Farmers who raise their organic content to three percent organic content in their fields must be given substantial incentive and then industry and business can work out a carbon credit system, that will be a second level of incentive. The third level of incentive will be if food is raised in high rich organic content soils, that will find a higher level of marketplace, that will create better nutrients for the people and better health and preventive health for the people and many other benefits for the country in terms of healthy and happy people who will become more creative and productive. So these are the three levels of incentives that we must come up, come up with in this COP15 and make it a part of not only Cote War but also the entire world that farmers should get these three incentives and also there's one big problem that not many people are going into farming right now because it's not lucrative enough. It's important a farmer earns at least as much as a doctor, engineer and lawyer or whoever else so otherwise everybody will move into cities, nobody will live on the farms. It's very, very important that people should live on the land because land is the basis of our life.